Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Another day passes. You doing the procedure. New people arriving. Many interesting stories. All blessed. Even those who don't agree, who try to destabilize the channel, and those who channel. Just remember, whoever is speaking is a human being, yes, she speaks what I convey to her mind. Due to the ability she already has, she speaks quickly, as we have practically become one. In addition to introducing myself to her, so that she can channel my messages, I am her spiritual mentor, the spiritual protector, because she has a great mission of light. A very important mission, which is to be our voice. And many try to silence this voice, and it suffers attacks. But there is nothing to worry about, because whoever attacks her forgets that she has the greatest warrior around her, and that nothing, I said, nothing, will reach her. Continuing. Many times, my brothers, you do not understand what I say, nor why I say it. What I just said has destiny. It has a right destination. Believe me. Yesterday, I touched on a very interesting, complex and delicate subject. Today I'm going to talk, not about the same subject, but about a problem that has affected the vast majority of you, and that you have asked, you have asked me, how to act and how to do it. I'm going to start this topic by telling a little story. Each of you is a soul. This I have said constantly. Each with a degree of evolution. If you were all on the same level, everything would have happened by now. So each one learned over time, evolve and grow. What do I say, what is it to evolve a soul? The soul, when incarnated, suffers all types of influence from the environment in which it lives, suffers all the feelings and pressures of this environment. Then you are exposed to all feelings, both those of high vibration and those of low vibration. The more evolved the soul, the more it lives these feelings, understands them and lets them go, it doesn't keep storing, feeding or putting more of the same into these feelings. She has already learned to transmute them so that they come and go. What does a less evolved soul do? You go through these feelings, and you don't have the same ability to go through them, to let them go, she keeps dwelling on that feeling, as if it were a life goal. So evolution never comes, it is a soul that has parked itself on the same level for a long time. I have told you, in some other videos, that everyone who is incarnated on the planet at this moment was duly warned of what would happen, of what they would have to go through. Many have chosen that they want to go through the physical body, go through all this transformation in the physical body, many said no, that they prefer to pass through the spiritual body, and there are those who don't want to pass, they want to leave, continue living this low vibration life they have, somewhere else. Perfect. Everything perfect. And everyone's choice is being respected, even those that were modified after the incarnation. Everything is being respected. So now I'm going to talk exactly about the subject I propose here today, small pillars of light. What could these little pillars of light be? Many of you, who have done the procedures, who have been following the channel, who listen to my messages with love, with respect, with gratitude, they have tried to make my words heard by other people, have tried to show other people what is happening on the planet, and in the world today. Many are laughingstocks, are targets of fights. Many are called crazy, of crazy people, and I say more, many are called demoniacs, who are not doing good things, they are serving evil. I know exactly what each of you is going through, because I already told you, I feel the energy of each of you when you listen to my messages. Every message from me is charged with my energy. He who hears them creates a direct connection with me, and I can feel exactly what is in his heart. So I know about this suffering, I know the pain, I know the embarrassment, I know everything you are going through. Some gave up, were so attacked, so ridiculed that they decided to remain silent, they are just remaining sheltered and sad because they cannot open their voices. Others have more strength, fight against everything and everyone, and maintain their convictions. Who is right and who is wrong? There is no right and there is no wrong. There is strength in each person. 
As I said, each soul has an evolutionary degree. So those who are more evolved can have more strength to be present, and to assert their wills and beliefs, to the detriment of what others are saying. Those who are not as evolved still feel weak for such a battle. So where do the pillars of light come in? Understand. You, it's like a pillar of belief in the middle of an island of disbelief. You are alone, lonely, so it is as if you stood up like a lighthouse in the middle of an island, and everyone around you wants to attack you, because they do not believe your words, nor what you say, but you are there, like a pillar of light. So each one of you, who believes what is said here, who believes in the procedures I am going through, who believes that it is worth believing, becomes a pillar of light. It doesn't matter if it's that little pillar, sulking in the corner, afraid of what others will say, or if it's that huge, huge, tall pillar that isn't there for what people are talking about. You are pillars of light. And what is the function of it all? What is your role? Ah, my archangel, I came here to suffer, for believing in what you say. I am suffering. I am being attacked, belittled, if I am following you, my archangel. Why am I going through this? Yes, no, you are not going through anything, let's put things another way, you who are small or big pillars of light, no matter the size, I repeat what I said yesterday, you are there at the front of the road, much further ahead than the vast majority. Then you are much closer to reaching that new world. So who is at fault in the story? Who is suffering in this story? Who, up front, will have a very difficult path to get to where you are? Who is it? It's you or whoever is around you, belittling what you say. So realize my brothers, you are these little pillars of light. Small, because the great pillars, are the light workers, they are the ones that will attract crowds. They, yes, have to be a great pillar so that they can be seen from long distances, for people to find their way. You are big, but not too big, because you only have as your mission, those around you, those you know, your family, your friends. You are small, not that small, because you also have to make yourself seen, but their missions are different, they are small missions, let's put it that way. But everyone has them. So what would this mission be? You are learning here, how to change yourself, how to cleanse yourself, how to prepare for this new world. Many have literally felt what is changing, others have seen, others listen, it doesn't matter, you are all going through transformations. So what will happen up front? You are being prepared to see, to know the truth, and very soon you will see, and know, things that others cannot even imagine. Because you are preparing for this. You are becoming strong for this. So, later on, when you start to see it, you will be ready. No one will be scared by anything anymore, because you will be my little warriors. Yes, you are part of my army. So each one of you is a little warrior of mine, it's a small representation of me about the planet. Look at the responsibility. Are you willing to fight on my behalf? Let's get the idea of bloody battles out of our minds. This is not what I'm asking for. These are battles of growth, of love, not battles of hate, not battles of pain. It's a battle of growth. So like my little warriors, what will happen up front? When the truths appear, you will shrug your shoulders, because you will be tired of knowing them, for you, those truths are already ingrained in your being. But the vast majority don't, the vast majority will despair, will panic. Some will go crazy because they think they are really crazy. And that, my little warriors, is where you come in, because like little pillars of light, those who once laughed at you, that one day they turned their backs on them, who once threw strong words at you, they will arrive humble and terrified, asking for your help, because they know that there is the answer to what they want to know. Then he will arrive meek and humble, asking you for help, to understand what he could not understand before, but seeing it, he was able to understand. And there will be his role, my little warrior. Extend your hand and say, come, I support you, I am by your side, 
trust in me, and you will be fine. Only that. No one will have to catechize anyone or explain anything. It's just offering your hand, offer your love, and this human being, he will find in you the support he needs. So my little warriors, this is your missions. You will have this role of bringing those who are in despair closer to you. Realize, if each of you does this, how many people you will help. Lots of. Unfortunately, there are not enough warriors for everyone on the planet, because many do not want to take on this mission. They don't believe it, period. So there are some islands of people on the planet that are completely erased, who do not accept anything that is being said nor believe in anything. Unfortunately, they will not have the opportunity to go to Mundo Novo. Because they are souls that will have to continue evolving, but not here, somewhere else. So my brothers, what do I ask of you after all this explanation? Strength, determination, claw. Don't try to convince anyone, that's not my purpose. Of course, you tried to spread my word. Excellent. Whoever accepted, perfect. Anyone who didn't accept is perfectly fine too. Everything is in balance. But at the right time, they will see you. But you also won't have to say anything, or explain anything, because the situations themselves explain themselves. So all you need to do is extend your hand, with lots of love and affection, and you will be fulfilling the mission I gave you, as small pillars of light. I am Archangel Michael. And I want, I really want, for this army to grow more and more, get stronger and stronger, so that we can all, together, bring as many people as possible to the new world.